Look at this. Yo, that makes sense, though, that he would have a lot- Wow, yeah, he's got a shitload. Look, he's got a lot of the singing bass as well. Oh, goodness. Or slaughterfish, the slinging sl <laughs> the slinging- The singing slaughterfish! He's got a troll skull? Yeah, I guess he is, like, some sort of amazing archer or whatever, right? <laughs> Not anymore. He's about to be fucking broke! Let's see over here. He probably gets the taxidermy work done by what's-her-name, the other area. And just sets it up in his house. Oh my god, that's right. This big moose up here. Ooh, in the dead of night. If you just hide right outside Feindall's house, you can hear it. Just by the windowsill. Yes. Oh, Camilla, your antlers are so powerful. <laughs>When we had last left, the prisoner bound by prophecy, they had been in search of the Golden Dragon Claw, a strange relic that had gone missing from the trader's building at the small town of Riverwood. In search of it, they traveled near and far, far and wide, all the way up to... Oh wait, you can't see from there's a building in the way. <laughs> to Bleak Falls Barrow. Indeed, it was where all of the bandits, and there were many of them. It was surprising. There was like a small army of bandits who had gone up there. So many of them. There was probably like 50 or 500, something like that. They were up there with the claw. But not only would the prisoner bound by prophecy find the claw, but also... A slew of undead rising from their graves to protect a strange and peculiar stone tablet and a wall with words on it in an ancient language that was just as peculiar. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Let us search around town a little bit, right? before we head out, because we've got pretty much all of our business done here, I believe, right? Greetings, Brother Elf. Good to see a familiar face so far from home. What a fuck. Mm -hmm. Eat shit, Feindall. Alright. Let's look over here. We should look in Feindall's house. Can we go in their house? Look, it's not illegal. Huh. Can we go in there? Let's see. I've quick saved. I'm just gonna do a plane. There's no, like, oh, break in or whatever. Is this allowed? Huh. Yeah, look. I can just do this, right? <laughs> I think I can just break in here. Hang on, let's check. Do I have, like, a bounty right now? Let's see, crime. Locks pick, largest bounty, total lifetime, nothing. Who did we assault? We assaulted someone once. Weird. Alright. Well, fine. You know what? Hey, let's, do, let's get some of this shit. There we are. A Gentleman's Guide to White Run. We'll take that. Yoink. Over here, is that some money on the floor? No. Owned bed. Empty wardrobe. It's fine. Some clothes up top. Ooh, shit, I'm hungry. Let's steal some food and eat it. Steal all that. Now, does this work like Oblivion to where... a lot of the gold, or all of the gold that we steal, once it gets put into, like, our purse, they can't tell the difference, right? So it's fine. The only stolen things we have to worry about being taken or confiscated if we get caught when we get caught <laughs> is is are the actual physical items. Gold, no problemo, right? I'm to assume that. Okay, over here. Let's get some leeks as well. I'll take a leek. Some garlic, potatoes, big old wheel. Oh, a poop bucket over here in the corner, just as well. Let's see, what's in the barrel? Five salt. Very good. Let's see. Man, fuck, do they have enough fucking heads in here? Jesus, look at this. What a bunch of freaks. How many do you need? Oh, good lord. This is a real fucking pain in the ass. Ooh. All right, their secret basement. Whoa. Yo, they've got like a shop down here. Oh, yeah, because he's a blacksmith. <laughs> well, we'll take those. Let's see, some gold, roll of paper, no thanks, a big chest, gold, horse hide, Ugh. 
We'll have to craft that up and down. Speaking of which, and shops, speaking of shops, I went and sold off a lot of things in between videos. Just, uh, some of the armor and all that stuff that we had accumulated, right? Nothing too fancy or schmancy. Alright, nothing else. Yeah, we can't take items to actually sell off in fence, because we don't have a fence yet. No sense in hauling around all this stuff when we're so limited on our inventory space. Alright, cool. Oh, wait. Some iron arrows, a hunting bow. Sven, you want any of this shit? A poop bucket? <laughs> right next to where you cut up the l the tumber, the tumber, the lumber, <laughs> timber. <laughs> good lord. You can just chop it while you're taking a big old poop. Mmm. Sounds good. Sounds powerful, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Alright, let's go down here and eat some of this shit. Let's see, sort by hunger. Let's eat some of this stolen stuff. Are we satisfied? Yeah. Huh. Let's eat one more. So we're, like, well-fed. There we go. I'm down with that. Alright. Hey, what's up, Alvor? You feeling a little light on your p <laughs> supply of whatever the fuck you use? <laughs> Let's see over here. Let's craft up all these. Clear up some inventory space. There we are. We can also give this shit to Sven to just haul around. Sven! Still here. here. Take some of this. Need what to trade to some carry? stuff. All this trash, man. Okay, over here. Yeah, look at this. This thing weighs 25 fucking units. We need to get rid of this thing ASAP. Oh, look. Stolen. Oh, but it doesn't tell me how much of it is stolen and how much of it is, like, hard-earned. Hmm. All right. There you go, Sven. Lead on. Okay, Sven, you know what? Let's check your house just as well. Why not? What's up, Hild? Hilda? What do you want? I want to go inside your house. Your son gave me the key. We're going in. We're taking everything. <laughs> See you later, you old bat. Let's see. What do we got? Nord mead, some wine, a look. And this isn't stealing because Sven owes us like the blood debt, the booty debt. Let's see over here. Rabbit. Oh, weird. Huh. It's like a head except no head. Right? Okay. Ugh. But I think that's part of the head right there. Ugh. I don't know what's worse. <laughs> All right, over here. Cast iron, child's doll, roll of paper. Tomato. For for those who are unfamiliar, <laughs> taxidermy for whatever reason just really I find really creepy and unsettling. <laughs> in games in real life, uh there there's a history of me in this game. Uh not not in like a playthrough or whatever, but I've spoken of it a lot. I love the Riften house, right? And when you upgrade the Riften house a whole lot, you get a freaky as hell goat head that appears in there. And, man, one day it just bothered me so much. And this was, like, just me playing myself. No, like, not recording or anything. So it wasn't like, oh, this is, <laughs> what a funny joke, huh, right? <laughs> no, I really didn't like it. I, I deleted it. I, I whipped out the console commands and fucking deleted it. Hadn't used console commands for anything else. Just had to get rid of that freaky ass goat head. God, it was freaky. Oh, my God. I can still remember it in its weird bug eyes. Jesus. Take all this wine. There we go. What have we got here? Bear pelts. Oh my god. Jeez. All right. Oh god. Uh-oh. My mouse. Ugh. Yeah, I need to give it a blow. <sighs> ah, there we go. Sorry, our dog is shedding. <laughs> All right. There we go. Let's see. Oh, look. Poop bucket right here as well. Man, everyone's just got poop buckets next to their places of work. This is where I'd assume Sven would, like, come to strum on his loot, come up with some sort of epic that he would uh, serenade Camilla with or whatever. Oh, my gosh. And while he was doing it, he, <laughs> he would start grunting in pain just as well, trying to pop a few units out of his butthole. Oh, my God, Sven. You know what? That's efficiency that we can appreciate. <laughs> Came crashing and thrashing! Ragnar the Red! <laughs> Sven! No! <laughs> he can only sing it now while, while he's shitting. It's his curse, the curse he must bear. <laughs> Old Sven! He really is the shit bard! <laughs> he's the world's greatest bard that you've ever heard. But he'll only play under one condition. He must be pooping. Stump? Oh. Hey, what's up, Frodnar and Dorothy? Papa says I'm too friendly with strangers, but you seem all right. 
What Did about you, you really Frodnar? see a dragon? Yeah. I bet my uncle Rayloaf is tougher than you are. <laughs> what the my fuck? My father is Alvor, the blacksmith. I'm his assistant. I mean apprentice. You're never gonna get me mad, and I'll prank you. And not a little, a lot. Oh, shit. Oh, I hope I don't I'm get fucking pranked. My own sword. Oh, God. Oh, Sven, that would fucking suck. Good lord. Oh, I hope we don't get pranked over here. Let's take some of this. Whose house is this? Ooh, shit, it's fucking Fane dolls, baby. Here, don't we have some, like, heavy stuff? How encumbered are we? Yeah, we're pretty close to encumbered. Because these heavy as hell bear pelts, huh? They're not doing us any favors. Let's go over here, and let's rip them up real quick. There we are. Let's see. By shore, what do you want? I just want to skin some skin. There we are. Or tan some, some hides. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. We've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> this makes them way more! Treating them makes them way more, Sven! No, I'm a fool! I'm a damn fool, Sven! I've got your back. Let's see, take some of this. What do you want me to carry? God, I hope he can carry like a million units of weight. Let's see here. Oh, all this leather. You know what, take these valuable gems as well. Sven, I trust you. Keep them away from me. I'll fucking eat them. Let's see, anything here that we need to dump off? No, I guess we're fine. Alright, Sven. On. Let's check out Feindal's house. Look, we can prank him. Hey, Sven, why don't we call up Frondor and start pranking... Sven... <laughs> Let's prank Feindal, Sven! <laughs> using Frondor. Frond... Frond... Frondor! Fuck me. Good lord. You know what? We're just gonna spread shit all over his house. Oh my god. Look at this. Yo, that makes sense, though, that he would have a lot- Wow, yeah, he's got a shitload. Look, he's got a lot of the singing bass as well. Oh, goodness. Or slaughterfish, the slinging sl <laughs> The slinging- The singing slaughterfish! I'll take all this. My god. He's got a troll skull? Yeah, I guess he is, like, some sort of amazing archer or whatever, right? <laughs> Not anymore. He's about to be fucking broke! Let's see over here. All this. He probably gets the- Taxidermy work done by what's their name, the other area. And just sets it up in his house. Oh my god, that's right. Oop, whoops, somehow got into something else. This big moose up here. Ooh, in the dead of night. If you just hide right outside Feindal's house, you can hear it just by the windowsill. Yes. Camilla! Oh, you're so beautiful, Camilla! <laughs> Ooh! Your antlers, Camilla! Oh, Camilla, your antlers are so powerful! <laughs> Frondar comes inside and is like, Oh, God! <laughs> Feindal's like up there naked on the roof! <laughs> His like legs <laughs> straddling the moose head. Oh, no! He's been pranked! Oh, God! <laughs> Jeez, Mammoth Tusk, huh? Shit, 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 it's valuable as hell. Hmm, let's take it. Oh, no, wait, I can't sell it. Yeah, what's the point? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, it's valuable as hell, but to who? No one I know yet. Let's see, sacks of flour. Can I just eat these? Look, I'm just eat stealing. What are you gonna do, pull it out of my tummy? Let's see. Man, look at all this stuff. Scourge of the Grey Quarter. Pension of the Ancestor Moth. I think we read that in Oblivion Land. Killing before you're killed. Ode to the Tundra Striders. Minor healing, true shot. Saber cat pelts, fuck. Man, this is like the most lucrative place to have come. All right. Fuck yeah, Sven, we fucking did it here, dude. Let's see, let's get some of his delicious foods as well. Grilled leeks, slaughterfish, salmon steak. All this weird shit. Cheeses. Okay, cool. Oh, and what's this? Is this some troll fat like we saw earlier? Uh, yep, it is. All right. Man, no one ever hangs out inside right their houses. All right, let's trade what some shit here, friend. Care? How about you take a lot of this food? Because I'm carrying around a shitload. And I don't need any at the moment. Let's see. Sort by weight. Oh, shit, look at this venison. Oh, my God. We need to, like, craft some up. Can I craft this into something? Like, cook it into a delicious meal? Here, take all this booze, Sven. Maybe you'll drink it yourself. Vegetable soup, regular wine, mead. 
like five million carrots. There we go. You lead, I'll follow. Okay. Good shit, Sven. You know what? The rest of these, maybe we should just leave. No, let's get the meat at least. Because we can rub some salt on it and it'll be amazing. There we are. Good. Okay. Head on out here. Great. All right. Who's next? <laughs> Who the fuck should we rob next? Oh, these fucks. Yeah, we robbed them already, didn't we? Let's see. And this is the trader, right? Who we already hit up just as well. Yo, did we get everybody? Oh, hey. Secret. I'm spoken for, you know, so don't get any ideas. All right. Jeez. I was about to marry you on the spot. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's that's right, Sven. We saw a fine young lass tending the fields. <laughs> My favorite drink. <laughs> Offer her a Let's salmon. Get some mead. All right. Need something? Let's see over here. Let's go over here and check. Anything else? There's a bunch of barrels out here. Are these free to take from? Yeah, sacks of flour. Fuck it. Let's eat them. Mmm. Just eating, stuffing my face with lots of flour. <laughs> I come out out of the barrel with, like, white powder all over my face. <laughs> it's from an ash storm! Come on, I was in Vardenfell. Or, no, no, I wasn't. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Let's go over here. Anything around this tree? No. No, okay, we're good. We already took all the cabbages. I guess she's trying to regrow it and stuff. All right. Neat. How about in here? Carrots. I'll eat them. Right on the spot. Look at that. That's just a free fucking meal, dude. All right. Let's check out inside the inn, because yes. we didn't hardly get to look around, did we? And we probably should, just for fun. All right. Let's well, head over here. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's speak to him. Can we get, like, rumors and stuff? What's up, Ognar or Orgnar? We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Can I use the alchemy lab? I forgot they had one here. Long as you clean up, you know how to use it, right? Mix a couple of ingredients together, see what happens. A little wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion, if you didn't know. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. <laughs> see what happens. Do you know how to use it? I sure as hell don't. <laughs> Let's see. I'm looking for work. Got any leads? Heard any rumors late? Yes, you can. This is like a way you can get radiant quests, right? Where can I learn about magic? Looking to blow yourself up? I hear that's what magic does to you. There's a college in Winterhold that teaches magic. Unless that blew up too. <laughs> Be a lot safer just to have the Jarl's wizard teach you a thing or two. <laughs> I mean, damn, I forgot about that. <laughs> Fucking get him, Orgnar. He doesn't even know. <laughs> All right. Heard any rumors lately? There have been whispers. A boy up in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino, been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. <gasps> oh my god, we have this fucking quest already? Jeez, we are not doing that. We're saving that just like how we did in Oblivion. All right. I'm looking for work. Got any leads? We may as well pick one up. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Oh. Silent Moon's Camp. Okay, what have you got for sale? Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Ah. Uh. An Abishan Longfin. Huh. Juniper berries. A jug of milk. Is that new? Is a jug of milk a new item? It must be. Ah, uh, sweet roll. Alright, anything else? Oh, listen to this wonderful inn music. Oh, it's so nice. Okay. Until next time. Let's see, Delphine? You're that visitor been poking around. Heard any rumors? Word is Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War is only going to get worse now. I hear it never changes. Oh, look. Here's the alchemy lab. Ooh, do I have any alchemy ingredients on me at the moment? I've got a few. Okay. Let's eat some snowberries. What do they teach me? Hell. Okay. Ooh! Shit. Sven! I've got your back. Here, let me take some of that shit off of you. What do you want me to carry? I don't know, man. Let me just grab some of, uh... What do you have a lot of? Some of these flowers. There we go. Skeever tails. Hell yeah. Thistle branch. And then what weighs a lot? Honeycomb weighs a shitload, dude. 
Whoa. All right. A chicken's egg. Rock warbler egg. Can I eat this bleeding crown right out of his inventory? <gasps> oh, God, it hurts. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that'll teach me to eat right out of Sven's pocket. <laughs> okay, how about the fly Amanita? Resist fire, resist frost. Shit, man, I don't know anything. Here, let's just throw some of this together. You lead. Orgnar's right. Sorry, Delphine. It has to be done. Let's see here. Alchemy Lab. You can create potions and poisons by combining two or more ingredients that share a common effect. Experiment with different ingredients to learn their effects. Okay. Oh, shit. Look at this UI. Oh, this is new. Oh, my gosh. And this, like, shows me ones I already know, then. Okay. This is because of Sky UI. I see. Okay. Well, let's just throw some shit together, huh? Let's see. Throw some of this in. Have I added it? There we go. How about... You know, let's just throw all this shit in. Anything we have a lot of. Oh, can I not do four yet? Yeah, I must not be able to do... Okay, I see. Alright. Let's actually... Yeah, let's craft all the three flowers together. Mountain flowers. And craft. Well, fuck. <laughs> How about some of... This. Huh? Damage health. Okay. Great. Here, we can make some more of this if we want. Let's see, what else can we do? How about thistle branch and wheat? And then let's throw on frost miriam. Damage stamina regen. Okay. How about this and chicken eggs and shit? Magicka regen damage. Okay. This, let's throw in some of these. Okay. How about these? There we are. And troll fat? Eh, yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Okay, and a chicken's egg. Eh, okay. How about elves ear and these? Restore magicka. Okay, I'm dumb. Let's see here. Unknown effect. I need to keep an eye out for unknown effect. There we go. Fortify sneak, resist frost. Eh. There we go. Got an elk up. All right. And how about we throw some of these together? Troll fat, skeever tail. Resist poison. Okay. Cool. You know what? I think I'm good for now. Great. This will probably be something that I end up doing in between videos in the future, right? Crafting up more of this. Oh, who is this? Wait, he works here? What do you want? Huh. Okay. <laughs> hey, we Orgnar. Got rooms and food. Drink. Need a room? Will Let's you buy some of my appetite. dumb shit? Mm -hmm. Let's take a look here. No, he won't. All right, he's too clever to buy my dumb shit. Fair enough, dude. Until next time. Let's see, what's back here? Ooh. Hey, this is free to take? Whoa. What? Is this the... Oh. Okay, that's why this is free to take. Huh. Weird. Okay. What's in here? Cowhide. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. You know what? I'm just gonna yoink all these up. There's free money in this inn. Holy shit. What a great place. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna leave a great Yelp review. Fall from glory. Free books? Just to take? Free tomates? Just to yum yum up? Okay. Ominous wardrobes. Delphine is just watching me eat everything <laughs> and take it all. Sure. Still here. All right. Let's trade some what shit. What do you want me to carry? Carry all my alchemy shit, dude. Just take it all. Here we go. Give. I can just spam my E key here. There we are. Good man. Okay. You lead. I'll follow. Let's see. What's back here inside of these? More free stuff? Oh, it's already been cleared out. Wow, everything is free, dude! Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I love this place! <laughs> Alright, back here. Oh, it's already been cleared out. Someone already enjoyed the free goods. A merchant's hat. Huh. Okay, the Great War. Ooh, I'll take it. That sounds important. Black Briar Mead. Okay. Anything else? Nah, a whole bunch of... Yo, I can take these? What is going on? How come I can just take all this? 
Why? How can this be? Is it because I got the claw back or something? What the f- I'm taking it. What are you staring at? Have I, like, caused some sort of strange exploit? Look at all this! There's fishes back in here! I'm eating these fish! Ugh, it's hurting me! <laughs> oh, I gotta eat another one! Oh, it hurts! Oh, no, wait, that one was good! Okay. And some clam meat. Mmm! <laughs> Food poisoning! Raw fish! Ah, carrots. I'll take it. Good. Alright. Great. Wow, what an amazing place to have come. We, we should have went in there earlier before we went up to Bleak Falls. <laughs> Just get a shitload of free resources. Okay, let's take a rest here. Right? We need to rest up before we head on out. Out of Riverwood. There we go. They always lock the door and I always unlock it and never lock it behind me. Alright. Anyone snoozing? I told hey, Rayloff. My sister would help us out. Yeah, you should have come up there to the fucking battle zone, dude. I hope to see you in Windhelm. Good luck. Now, we've already asked him about... How do I get to Whiterun from here? I think I've asked him, right? Just head north. Can't miss it. It's the capital of Whiterun Hold. Jarl Balgraf still hasn't declared for one side or the other. So, at least you won't run into any Imperials along the way. Dude, they need to bring back this dude's voice actor for Elder I'm Scrolls VI to, to voice male Nords, at the very Windhelm. least. Because for me, he has become... The, the like, poster child voice actor for male Nord. If Wes Johnson became, like, the poster child for male Imperial in Oblivion, this guy, he is now, he, he is just the voice of male Nord. All right, let's take a snooze for eight hours. Here we are. It'll be the middle of the night, but you know what? When better to travel, but under the cover of night. And these are warm zones, right? We'll be fine. There we are. Good. Oh, I'm feeling rested and hungry. Okay. Let's eat a little bit then. Let's have some booze. What other things have we got? Grilled leeks? A seared slaughterfish? I am. Still a bit hungry. Let's see. Let's eat some potato soup. There we go. I'm well fed. To see you in winter. Perfect. Good luck. Oh, she's Your teleported behind me. Eh? All right. Let's head on out. Very At least good. the damned war hasn't gotten here... yet. <laughs> yeah, good thing, Hod. <laughs> good man. <laughs> All right. Let us head on out on adventure from this place. Oh, shit, it is actually a little cold out at night. Okay, that is actually important. Oh, fuck. Hold the fucking phone. If he's not home... Look, I can just go in here. Look, this isn't illegal. That's close enough. Oh, shit, five bounty added. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Alright, hang on. <laughs> hang the fuck on. <laughs> Alright. So it won't show up as red, but it is definitely still illegal. Okay, good to know. Hang on. Let's get a little... Let's get a little something something in here, right? Okay. Oh shit, he's already snoozing. They're both snoozing, dude. They're about to be snoozing and losing. All right, Sven. Don't make a fucking noise, dude. <laughs> Let's take these elk hides. Good. All right. Let's just gingerly... Oh, God. I'm totally detected right now. But neither of them are awake. So it's fine. I'm just going to assume it's Sven who detects me. I don't think it is. I think... I think one of them has opened their eye. <laughs> All right, baby. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes! <laughs> where did it go? Who knows? Oh, who knows, dude? Who knows where it went? Shut the fuck up, Sven. You're too fucking loud, man. <laughs> oh, fuck. I took the iron shit. Oh, no. Okay, I don't need that. I don't need that. All right, let's drop R. There we go. Oh, yes. Sven, this is how adventuring is done, my man. <laughs> oh, careful. Careful, they're gonna hear us. <laughs> What's in here? Ooh, some money. Wolf pelts as well. We can craft these. This is XP, Sven. Free XP. That's what they sell here. Experience points. Look, it's not stealing. How is this? Is, is it really because we did the Golden Claw shit? So a lot of the things are no longer considered stealing? That's my best fucking guess. 
All right. Yeah. Like these these items are stealing. But other shit is not. Huh. Good to know. All right. <coughs> Can I just cooking pot it up? Let's see here. How about we fix up... Ooh, yeah, let's make some venison stew. There we go. Rabbit haunch. Let's just cook all these up. Man, we have a lot of rabbit haunch shit. Okay, we can make some vegetable soup as well. That'll probably reduce our carry weight as well. Let's see, we're still 167. Maybe it just evens us out. Okay, good. Let's head on out, Sven. <laughs> so long, River Run! Eat shit! Oh my god, the Dragonborn has come, baby! It's me! <laughs> I stole it all! Alright, oh shit, should we actually... <laughs> maybe we shouldn't... Maybe we shouldn't try this at night. You know what? Maybe that's a good idea. Okay. <laughs> Change of plans. We're, we're traveling at the break of dawn. Alright, dawn is about to break. I'm ready for it. Let's go in here and have a little snooze. I hope to Let's see you see. in Windhelm. Good luck. All right, all right, you two. Hang on, let's get it. Make yourself time to home. wake up, you two. I need to use the bed. Come on. Mm. Uh huh. Rise and yep, yep. Get up. Come on. Show some hospitality. All right. Come on. <laughs> let's rest until so that'll be six. Let's go five hours, right? That should be fine. There we are. Cool. I'm feeling rested. You need to leave. Am I hungry yet? Oh god, my fucking mouse again. Can the sawmill handle those logs? <laughs> they look a mite big. Jesus, I'm gonna need like a fucking I lint roller. <laughs> there we are. And the blade. All right. Now, okay, let's head out for real this time. Goodness gracious. White run, here we come. Oh, you've done plenty. You've pl done so much for me. All right, let's head on out of here. Fantastic. Oh, we'll never have to see this place again. Let's see over here. You know what? I'm just gonna eat these as well. That's not true at all, is it? <laughs> now that I think of it, that is really not true. <laughs> all right. Let's go on back over here. Good. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, my gosh. You... By looking at it from here, you wouldn't tell that going up there, I almost froze my whole fucking leg off. <laughs> all right. Oh, look at this. Let's see if this tree will be fucking weird again. Oh my god, it's happening. Yo, it's happening! Have they- are they in here? Oh, I would have thought that one of the, like, unofficial patches or the special edition would have fixed it. Oh my god, I bet they're in here! I bet the birds are, like, stuck inside of it again somewhere. Where are they? This is a screaming bird tree. Oh, just another weird facet of Nern. Oh, what a mysterious and alien world, but familiar at the same time. Just as we have bird trees in real life. <laughs> Ooh, look at this creepy, hairy-looking pube rock. Good lord. <laughs> yeah, man, it is weird here. <laughs> All right, Sven. Let's head on out. I hope you weren't planning on doing anything with your life. <laughs> Let's go over here. Oh, shit. There we are. Whew. Oh, shit. Look at you, Sven. Strolling in like that. All right. Sometimes there's like a bear over here, right? The scariest motherfucker of all. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that a bear over there? No, I think that's just some grass. Okay. No bears. We're fine. No bears around here. No siree. Can I pop up here? Oh, man. It does look really nice. Alright. Let's head on down. There we go. Let's do a quick save just in case we do run into, like, the bear army. Oh, my God. I love it. Alright. Uh-oh. I'm stuck in rock zone. All right, Sven. <laughs> Crisis averted. Let's head on down here. All right. Too bad we couldn't have taken Feindall's Camilla moose. Oh, my God. Then we could have our own. Oh, look. Who is this? A strange traveler along the road. Ho there, traveler. Ho there. <laughs> it's me. 
old Lyle Schnub and good friend Sven. What's up? Who are I'm you? I'm on my way to Farmer. Windhelm to join up with the Stormcloaks. Ulfric has the right of it. Damn, Sven, like, pushed my shit in. I may have roots in Cyrodiil, but Skyrim's as much my home as any Nords. Damn. All right, actually meeting people headed toward the war effort. Okay. Man, that'll be one of the interesting things about this playthrough, is that we'll see a lot of the random events on the road and shit. Rather than fast-traveling places. We'll actually get to encounter quite a few, if not all of them. Alright, because at best our fast travel are the carriages, right? I think that's as best as you can do. I believe. Alright. Wasn't there always a weird little... Speaking of weird events and encounters... Could have sworn there was one that always occurred around here. Let's see. Oh, hey. Ooh. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Here we go. Hey, what's up, dude? Wait. I know you. What? You're making a... Oh, no! <gasps> Oh no! You're making a mistake! Oh fuck, I forgot! I forgot because we picked the lock! Old fucking Lucan sauce! There's no mistake. You're a wanted man and it's time to pay for your crimes. No! Come on! I don't have time for this, do you? Come on, it's five gold, baby! What's that? Come on, I can- I'll reach up and grab you a butterfly. That's worth five gold. <laughs> I'll grab that one right there while we're talking. Just instantly, like, <laughs> like Mr. Miyagi up my arm, like, grab it. Like, here, this is for you. <laughs> 20 gold. <laughs> I don't have time for this, do you? You know what? You're not worth the hassle. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Go. Be some other guard's problem. I can't fucking believe that. The first fucking guard we've met! The first official, real-ass guard that we've met wants to fucking arrest me. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> I totally forgot about that bullshit. <laughs> fuck you, Lucan. Ugh. Oh. Let's see. Sven, you better not fuck Lucan. You better not do it. Not after this shit. Look, we share a bounty, friend. We're traveling together, that means that you have the bounty just as well. I'm pretty sure that's how it works in the weird quasi-lawless land of Skyrim land. Let's see. I could have sworn there was, like, you encountered what's their butt out here. The Fighters Guild. Not the Fighters Guild. Oh, yeah, here they are. The friendly folks. The companions. There they are. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Can it happen? Let's play it risky, baby. Can it... It does it... It's still in the game. Come on. I'll take you off, you big fuck. Get back! I'll rip your head off! Rip and tear! Wow, he's so weak! Oh my god! You look strong. Come to your basker. You handle yourself well. Jesus. Make for a decent shield, brother. Man, I wanted him to kill me. <laughs> I wanted him to kill me. I wanted to see if it was still in. I wanted to go flying. All right. What is a shield, brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Otherwise, fuck them, right? Alright. <laughs> Can I join you? Sounds like a waste of time. You know what? I don't want to join them yet. Sounds like a waste of time. Well, nobody asked you. <laughs> if you think you're better than we are, go talk to Codlac Whitemane. See what a warrior of true metal is like. Fight with us and you'll have stories to tell. Come up to your Vasker, if you're worth anything in a fight. I'm not, though. It's Sven. He's the one you want to talk to. Need something? Why did you join the Companions? Who are the Companions? Only the most famous warrior band in all of Skyrim. What? Are you living with the Horkers? <laughs> yeah? When we arrive, blood is spilled and our blades sing to the glories of Ysgrimor. This is life, brother. The struggle is what reminds us to draw breath. Damn, okay. Why did you join the Companions? Are you kidding? I've wanted to be with them since I was a little girl. Haven't you heard the stories of Kodlak and Skewer fighting off the 101 Orc Berserkers? Skewer says it was more like 40, but he's just being modest. Where else would I want to be but here? Learning from them, fighting at their sides. Huh. 
Can you ever actually hear the other side of that story about the orc berserkers from, like, one of the orcish strongholds? It'd be very fascinating to know. All right, who's in charge around here? The Circle are the ones who parcel out the jobs. That's Ayla, Skior, and the brothers, Farkas and Vilkas. Codlock advises them, but he doesn't really give orders. Okay. Good talking to you, Rhea. All right, then. Man, let's turn down this music. It's fucking pumping, huh? Let's see. Audio. There we are. Good enough. Let's see. Anything on this, dude? Shit, they already ninja looted it. Fuck me. All right. Good job, Sven. You're a fucking champ, dude. Let's head over here. Let's check out these farming folk. What's up, farming folk? You guys got a lot of weeds to <laughs> to pull out here. <laughs> I'm assuming these aren't crops, right? Jesus, what a mess. Oh my god, only a three-star island to be sure. Let's see. What's up, Severio Pelagia? There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. Oh, I have potatoes and cabbage to sell. How about potatoes? Honest bay for honest work. How much do you give me? Well, one gold per potato? Fuck off! You should buy some produce from Carlotta's stall. Most of it comes from my farm. Really? Oh, that's so cool. I always love it when they show where shit comes from in games and all that. It's not necessary, but it's something that I just... I really enjoy it. Oh, Nimriel. Yes? Need something? Oh, huh. I, I guess not. I was just wondering who the hell you were. And who is this? Oh, Alfhild Battleborn. This war's as stupid as our feud with Clan Grey Mane. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Good lord. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's head on up here. Who is this? Let's see. Gloth. Good afternoon. Oh, good afternoon to you, too. Look at your fun little chickens. I love them. All right. Pelagia Farm. Good. A sweet, kind little moo cow staring at me. Wow, look at its cute little eyes. Jeez, do they look cuter in the special edition, or am I just tripping balls? All right, let's head on out. Ooh, look. Free chicken eggs. I'll take that. Thank you. All right, we should probably get up to the city, because check it out. <laughs> we are actually a little cold out here. <laughs> let's actually make our way to the city. There we are. There is also that secret sword in the pond situation out here, isn't there? Hmm. Oh, wait, how are we going to get into the city? I'm a wanted man. Maybe we can just trick him. We'll deceive him. Hello there, friend. What's up, you Sam Elliott looking motherfucker? Let's go over here. Got the fleetest steeds in all of Skyrim. Oh. Man like you needs a war horse, I reckon. How old are your horses? None of them's older than nine, and the youngest is six. Now the horse I got for sale is seven years old, but in fine health. She's got a lot of spirit, that one. We've taken to calling her Queen Aufsiger, or just Allie for short. I expect you can name her anything you like, once she's yours. Ah. Okay, well, maybe we don't want a horse just yet. Ride strong. But I, I have a great idea for a name. <laughs> All right, let's head on up here. There we go. And this is the rest of the stables, right? Yeah. Yo, look at that horse's wild-ass tongue. Oh, my God, look at the horse's tongue. Yo, it's like a fucking iguana or a chameleon or whatever. Oh my god, look at it. It's like some kind of weird gecko tongue. Ugh. <laughs> Man, we have shit like that in Morrowind. All right, Jervar, what's up? A horse? Talk to my father, Skolvar. He ain't the brightest one. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh no, they're here? What? Oh my god, what a hashtag blessed day. What? Rasad. How can I assist? Hmm? Who the hell are you? I'm curious about your homeland. Sure, tell me all about it. The Khajiit hail from a distant land called Elsewhere, bordered on the north by Cyrodiil, and the south by the glistening blue waters of the sea. Elsewhere is an arid land of deserts and rocky canyons, 
where the sun shines warmly, always. They're mm. a city so ancient, the sands have swallowed them whole. But now I will say no more, for I miss my home greatly. Damn. Why sell your goods in Skyrim? An astute question, for we are far from home, and this is a cold, hard land. The wise trader finds the best opportunities, even if he must travel far to find them. Skyrim is a ripe opportunity indeed. The oh. dragons and the war have scared many other traders away, but for those with courage, there is much profit to be made. Hell yeah, some wartime profiteering, we saw it, I hear that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, what have you got for Take sale? Let's see. What have you got? Oh, jeez, look at all this. Man, alright, let's just actually look through here like regular. Iron, greatsword of fear and burning. Jeez. Look, how come these have little icons on them? Why is that? Huh, yeah, why is that? Weird. At first I would assume it's because I have one. Right? But I don't have a steel war hammer, do I? No. In fact, I don't even have my steel war axe anymore. Weird. Why do they have this icon? Huh. Oh, is it because the base damage is an improvement, perhaps? Maybe. No, because then this orcish great sword of burning would be lit up too, right? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what this icon means. Very strange. Alright, let's see. Ring of archery, ring of wielding. One-handed attacks do 15% more damage. Not half bad, but pretty fucking expensive, right? That'd be almost all of our money. Let's see, anything here that we should pick up? Healing potions? I guess we could pick some of these up, right? Why not? Well, should we? Damn, you got some skooma just as well? Let's see. Maybe we don't need any healing shit, right? Maybe we can get by without it. These soul gems, however. Hmm? Tempting. Alright, now nah, we're good for now. May your road lead you to warm sands. Oh, man, I, dude, I love the, the interpret. Even though they they play such a small role, like culturally, they have such a small role here in Skyrim, a small presence, I guess I should say. They they have such a cool thing going on. Like the the changes made to them between here and Oblivion, I really appreciate. Ataba, a welcome to you, fellow traveler. We have been in this land for so long. I have forgotten what it feels like to walk on warm sand. Oh. Yes, I know just what you mean. My toes are numb from the cold more often than not. Do you ever find that you regret making this journey? In truth, I do not. I have always dreamed of seeing new lands, and it does not hurt that we are making a good profit. That is true. Perhaps I should be more grateful for this opportunity. Not many Khajiit can say that they have visited Skyrim. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is, um... Of course they made quite a few accent changes over the... over their time and stuff, right? And had them either be inspired by certain real-world accents and all that, trade them out, and, and all that shit. And I think the, the Khajiit jump from Oblivion to Skyrim is really fun. All right. Marandrujo. Khajiit as wears, if... You have coin. Do you? Let's see. How about you? The warm sand Kayla. elsewhere is far away from here. Damn, she's ready to fuck someone up. Karjit is just a guard and has nowhere to sell. Whoa, can you train me in sneak? They'll never see you coming. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> One of the more shocking things, though, is that there's very little exposition at times, right? Like, we just approach her and, like, yo, what's up? Can you, like, teach me how to sneak? <laughs> All right, no, I think we're good. Okay. May your road lead you to warm sands. All right, good, good. You know what? Hey, maybe we'll save going up there for next time, right? Goodness, because I, <laughs> I expected us to go up in there. But shit, the fucking cool-ass Khajiit trading caravan is in town. 
Maybe it's always meant to be here when you arrive. Nah, it can't be. We just got lucky, right? My ears hear the truth in your words. And yet, my body shakes with the need. Oh my god! Control yourself. Do not frighten away our customers with your fits. Yes, of course, you are right. Still, I would give much for even a few grains of moon sugar. Put the thought out of your mind and do not speak of it again. Yo, she's a moon sugar mama, baby! Alright, I guess it... they don't grow it here, right? But there was a shitload in Morrowind, huh? They must... Yeah, you grow it a lot in Morrowind. It can grow there. Ah, uh, but now with... With the eruption and everything. Oh. All right, all right, all right. We're getting ahead of ourselves and excited too much. All right. <laughs> when next we come back, we will head on up into the fantastic town of Whiterun. Holy wackadoo. And we'll turn in our heavy as hell uh, rock, right? <laughs> 25 fucking units of rock right there. However, of course, if you'd like to stick around, we will be doing a little bit of reading. And what should we read today? But perhaps, ooh, you know what? Let's read this. Let's get excited to Whiterun. Man, I wonder if these are anything like the city guides in Oblivion, which were just filled with some of the most fucked up, like, racist, classist shit you'll ever see. <laughs> All right. A Gentleman's Guide to White Rod by Mikael the Bard. Okay. Hey, look at this, Sven. Written by a bard. Maybe you could, uh, you know, maybe you could do this someday. Welcome, good sir, to this indispensable guide within these pages. I, your humble author and guide, will describe to you the great city of Whiterun, the jewel of the North. Whiterun offers numerous diversions for the man in search of adventure, fortune, and companionship, whether for a night or for a lifetime. The city is graced with not one, but two worthy taverns, and there are maids and wenches aplenty. Jesus. The city is located rather centrally in Skyrim, and this is well, and this is well, for it is not far from anywhere. Perched high upon a rocky hill, White Run dominates the grassy plains that surround it. High stone walls protect its denizens from the wolves, mammoths, bandits, and other dangers lurking beyond. When you first enter through the city's main gate, you will find yourself in the Plains District. This is so named because it is the lowest of the city's three neighborhoods. Ah, but here can be found the Bannered Mare, which I count among the finest taverns in all Skyrim. The scenery within is quite compelling, if you have an eye for the fairer sex. Oh my god, this guy is horny! Is that the, the new gist? All the city guides now? This time, it's horny. <laughs> A stout lass named Hulda tends the bar. Don't let that stony Nord exterior fool you, for she is possessed of that same fiery passion that all Nord women try so hard to conceal. Oh my god! Dude, this guy's ready to fuck! Sadia, the barmaid, is an- oh no, and a little- some casual racism- is an exotic red card beauty. She is quite mysterious, and your humble author is determined to learn her secrets. Oh god. Outside the bannered mare is a modest marketplace, and here is where I found true love, though I would never deter a fellow hunting hound from the chase. For indeed, why should I author these tomes if not to provide guidance in this very matter? I must ask you, do me this one kindness. Her name is Carlotta Valencia, and she is a magnificent beauty who makes a modest living selling bread and produce in the daylight hours. By the gods, I will make that feisty beauty mine someday! <laughs> yeah, we fucking called it. This really is the... It, this is totally what it is this time around. This guy's just horny as shit. <laughs> I was just being glib, but for real, this really is, is how it's going to be this time. And of course, there are other services to be found in the 
Plains District. <laughs> Belithor's General Goods offers various and sundry wares for the adventurous traveler, and Arcadia's Cauldron offers what tonics and herbs one would expect from an apothecary shop. Arcadia herself is an ami- ami- amiable sort. I often visit her to make conversation, as she is an imperial far from home. She is, however, a bit old for my taste. A gentleman of advanced years might find in her a worthy companion. Should you need your blade sharpened or your armor hammered, War Maidens offers smithing services very near the main gate. The smith is a pretty imperial named Adrian Avenici, but she is married to a great hulking brute named Oofberth Warbear! <laughs> Holy shit, his last name is Warbear? <laughs> Adrian is quite fair, but I should not want to find myself being introduced to the keen edge of that husband's war axe. If married ladies are your preferred sword, what the fuck? <laughs> then have at. But don't say that you weren't warned. <laughs> this is just a published book. It's mentioned, it's like name dropping everyone here in the town. Like, <laughs> who published all this? <laughs> what the hell? Near to the smith is the drunken huntsman. Here, some of the wealthier gentlemen gather to share both drink and rumors of the wide world. If you prefer a more distinguished class of company while you sip fine wine, You'll be well at home here. Of the Wind District, I have little to say. Most of the buildings in this second tier of the city are residences, though there is also a temple of Kinnereth and Yorvasker, the Mead Hall of the Companions. There are some intriguing prospects to be found in the Mead Hall. Should you favor a strong and fearless warrior woman, you will find little game at the temple, however. The priestess, Danica Pure Spring, is interested almost exclusively in spiritual matters. At last, we come, oh yes, the Cloud District, exclusive domain of the Jarl's Castle. I have had some merry adventures within the stone walls of Dragon's Reach. Let me tell you, the serving girls are most easily impressed by a well-spoken gentleman. After all, the knights in Skyrim do grow quite cold, if you take my meaning. <laughs> <laughs> Wink, if you take my meaning, we fucked! <laughs> Mikael, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm fucking! <laughs> and I will not deny that I have visited the town's jail once or twice, <laughs> which can be found in the lower levels of the palace. <laughs> As for the Jarl and his court, take pains to avoid them. I find that they lack any sense of humor and appreciation for refined culture. Besides which, they are all wealthy men, and so must be viewed as your most serious competition. <laughs> These Nords are simple folk, after all, and too easily swayed by the sight of fine clothes in a purse full of septums. <laughs> oh, good God! Now I will conclude this work by wishing you great success in your pursuits of women and wine. Spare a moment in your revels to think of me, your humble author, and the risks I have taken to bring you this most thorough report on all things of interest to the discerning ge Oh! A gentleman's guy, see. Not in... Okay, that kind of... Gen that kind of meaning. The, <laughs> the discerning gentleman in the grand city of Whiterun. Ah, but I will not lie and say that it was all a hardship. After all, who could want to sleep alone in such a cold and hard land as this? Not I! <laughs> Good lord. What the fuck? My goodness. Yeah, a gentleman's guide to Whiterun. Mikael the Bard. What the fuck? Does he show up anywhere? Can we meet him just like we met uh, the, the terrible racist woman from the last game? From Oblivion? <laughs> Good lord. Alright. Maybe we'll kill him too someday. 
<laughs> That's our goal. Just whenever we find someone who writes guides to cities. We, <laughs> the final thing we must do. Kill them. <laughs> All right. When next we come back, I guess we go into Whiterun, the horniest city of all damn time in, in Skyrim. <laughs> Until next time, please take care of each other.